so many times people will just write stuff about him, about me, about us. And it's like, you know what? That's not the truth. But let us tell you the truth from our from our mouth, because we don't want our kid reading the stuff that's not true. Like we want to be able to be in front of everything and to say, like, no, actually, this is what it is. And this is how we're doing it. So. Yeah, I mean, and it's all a testament to Jana because she was the driving force behind that. Again, like she said earlier, is I had a lot of shame still about everything, so I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to sweep it all under the rug. Like, let's not talk about it. That means more people are going to talk about it. But now being able to control the narrative, like you said, Madison, is is really what we're enjoying and thriving and doing. I guess I'm curious, in general, when you think about this experience and where it's sort of taking your career to a new like level and sort of conversation, what is the greatest reward? Like, what do you enjoy most about still doing this and growing it? I mean, just last night when we did our first live podcast, someone came up to us and was just like, this has helped our relationship, me and my boyfriend's relationship so much. And, you know, that is like, that's exactly why we're doing it. So thank you for, for listening. Thank you for finding something that you're able to connect to and to just, again, like hear, hear the other side out. And I think that's important to to want to be able to grow and be a better person for yourself, but then also for your relationship. Yeah, and the fact that we have our, our male demographic is building as well because of their hearing our dynamic together and hearing both sides. Having some some guys come up to me last night and saying like genuinely thank you for opening up. You know, it helps me do the same with my wife or fiance or girlfriend, and that means a lot to me that other men are willing to do the same thing. 